I am not weak. I am a warrior, courage unsheathed. I stand alone and with the sea of those before me, there is no fear to call our own. Frisco, Texas, so oh, about 20, 25 miles to the north of Dallas, host of the FCS championship game. North Dakota State, your defending champs, the number one seed, taking on Sam Houston State in a rematch of the title game from a year ago. And these two clubs had to scratch and claw and get their way to this title championship game. North Dakota State won by a field goal, as did Sam Houston State in their semifinal contest. Both those games came down to the final seconds, but it is a rematch as the Bearcats and the Bison square off for the 2013 FCS championship game. Sam Houston State wins the toss. They defer, so North Dakota State will receive the football. Dave Neal alongside former NFL quarterback Jay Walker. Kara Capuano is down on the sidelines. We will join her in just a few moments. But, Jay, what a great atmosphere. I mean, this is the atmosphere. The North Dakota State Bison fans clearly have tried to make this the Fargo Dome South. It's an outdoor stadium, but it still sounds as if we're playing inside the dome. It will operate from the far hash. Little play action to start the game. North Dakota State. This North Dakota State team averaging almost 35 minutes a game in terms of time of possession. That is the best number in the FCS. And I know sometimes it doesn't matter in today's game, but with the Bison, it does matter. It does matter. They want to control that clock, play behind that big offensive line, and have situations like this third manageable and allow that clock to continue to tick. Dave, the 2012 Division I football championship has set a new record for fan attendance. Over 250,000 fans have turned out this FCS postseason, culminating in a second straight sellout here in Frisco today. NCAA President Mark Emmert just told me he wonders if there's anybody left in North Dakota. Bison fans, undaunted by the almost 16-hour drive that covers six states and over 1,000 miles. Bearcats fans also out in droves, a straight shot for three hours. The energy here at FC Dallas Stadium is electrifying. Boy, it has been a party here the last few days in Frisco, Texas. You know, it's almost unfair. Sam Houston State can drive up the day of the game, but North Dakota State's been here for a couple of days, and they have just uh, littered this area with their gold green colors. And it has been a lot of fun, but some Sam Houston State fans wearing their bright orange today. Bring an extra guy. Jensen's got to get high and start completing some passes. Four passes on the first six plays from scrimmage for North Dakota State. They will run it. The pitch. John Crockett gets the corner. Crockett. He's to midfield. Stutter steps and is dropped at the 23-yard line. Darnell Taylor chases him down, but not before a 57-yard pickup. Seven guys up in the box. Jensen throws to the wide side. Pass is caught by Ryan Smith. 17 out of 22 on the year. This will be a 32-yard attempt. He has set a school record for field goal made this season. From the far hash. Sam Houston State, though, has had some success. They have blocked six kicks this year. They blocked six a year ago as well. The kick is on the way, and it splits the uprights. So North Dakota State 
Scores the first points of the game and they lead by three. Here, North Dakota State's been jacked up for this as well. <laughs> Those folks getting out of Fargo, coming down to sunny Frisco, Texas. And they have brought, as Jay mentioned earlier, some of that Fargo dome no noise here to FC Dallas Stadium. Trey Diller, short kick. Trey out to the 25-yard line. We have played the first 15 of the FCS National Championship game. Three points on the board. They belong to North Dakota State. Grab that trophy today. Ryan Smith. Big hit at the 25, falls forward out to the 29-yard line, a 23-yard return. There is Craig Bull, the head coach at North Dakota State, now in his 10th season, the second all-time winningest coach in Bison history, the Eddie Robinson Coach of the Year this year, and just got a long contract extension, and uh, talking to him, he, he's excited to have it, loves being in Fargo, loves everything about North Dakota State. On third down. Jensen over the middle. Boy, he did a nice job by the few extra seconds to hit Kevin Vaudlin, and it's a first down. Bell looking to throw, lost it up for Flanders. He has it down to the 35-yard line. Sincere looking to throw, but he is dropped at the 41. Kyle Emanuel, the defensive end, picks up his fifth sack of the year and a loss of nine. Bell lofts it up. Williams with the interception. The All-American making a play. He is dropped at the 28-yard line by Trey Diller. But for Marcus Williams, his sixth interception of the season and his 17th of his career to take over the top spot in the record books at North Dakota State. The Bison, one out of six on third downs. They came in 51%, fifth best in the FCS. Jensen trying to run for it. He will have it. And then some to the 43-yard line, and he's dropped there. Certainly helped him. He looks really fast today. Three rushes, 29 yards. Jensen has it to the 10. He cuts it back. He will take it in. Touchdown, North Dakota State from 20 yards out. Well, Hobson is out of the game. Pressure comes. Bell lofts it up. Looking for Sincere. Has it. He's at the five. Down to the one. Andre Martin on the coverage. First and goal, Sam Houston stayed with 37 seconds to play after a 30-yard pickup. So we'll try it again from 50 yards out. Far hash mark. Michael Murphy to snap. Ben LeCompte, the punter to hold. That is well short, and it's fielded by Dak Swanson in the end zone. The old school football, but he has dropped. Involved in that play. So now it's third down and long over the middle. That pass could be picked off. It may be. They will say intercepted by the Bison. Carlton Littlejohn. There goes Smith in motion. But Jensen will throw it. He's hit. Off the fingertips of Zach Vron. Here comes some pressure. Nice catch by Crockett on the near sideline. They'll mark it inside the 25, down to the 23, and 19-yard pickup. They'll hand it off to Smith. Dancing around inside the five. 
Jensen will take it, and he will follow that offensive line in for a touchdown. His 10th rushing touchdown of the year from a yard out has given North Dakota State the six-point advantage. Here's a jury. Touchdown, Bison. Here's the point after from Keller, and it's a bobbled snap. The Conk will get it back to Keller, who's being chased down. He'll throw it up in the end zone. And the catch is made. The two-point conversion worked perfectly, I guess. Mike Hardy, a defensive hit, floats into the end zone and makes the grab from Keller. When you're clicking on all cylinders, <laughs> everything seems to work. We've seen them score on a busted play before. We've seen them take advantage of a muff. Well, in this case here, you're going to see them take advantage of a missed extra point attempt right here. North Dakota State converting with the fire call. They've got a lead by 15 when we come back. Crockett, your tailback. They'll run him. He's looking to throw the jump pass. It's there. Down to the five-yard line go the Bison. Kevin Vaughn, the tight end, with the reception that goes for 26 yards. Stop him from getting in the end zone. Brock Jensen. No signal. Touchdown, North Dakota State. The third rushing touchdown of the day for the junior quarterback. That was era big time players playing FCS football. Here's a jury. He cuts it down. Stays on his feet. Touchdown, North Dakota State. on the sideline. He will stand in there and throw, and that pass is picked off by who else? Marcus Williams, the all-everything corner with a school record 18th career interception, his second today. And here come the Bison fans. Craig Bull and the North Dakota State Bison win their second FCS championship and they do it in fine fashion 39 to 13 and let the party begin Captures the national championship.